Life Lessons with Juvie. I don't fucking remember what number, probably 19. I'm your host, Juvie the Kid, as always. Submit your topics, uh, Twitter, Instagram, at Juvie the Kid, J-U-V-Y-T-H-A-K-I-D. Today I got a fucking special guest, my little brother and tattoo artist. Aha, what's up guys? I'm Cody, uh, Tattoo Nation 13. What's up? Alright, so I got tattoo topics. Promised you guys this a long time ago, so we'll get into them. Little Jenny Wren, do they hurt? <laughs> uh, my opinion, my body, no, they don't hurt. But other people will say different parts of the body will hurt for sure. For I'm sure. that other person because it all for me it all depends where you get tattooed. Like this side of my neck didn't hurt like at all. This side of my neck sucked. Uh, certain parts of the arm don't hurt, and then some are more tender. I, but like everybody's different, you know what I mean. Uh, some people have pain, really high pain tolerance for certain spots, and then other spots it's just fucking annoys them, and that can get to it. So I don't know. It's all it's all like on the person, really, fucking, and where you get them. Some spots are fucking sensitive. <laughs> Irish fan underscore one two three first tattoo and dream tattoo. So what was your first tattoo? My first tattoo was on my chest for my brother that passed away. It was forever young. Ah, see, you got a way better story than me. Yeah. <laughs> my first tattoo, it's up here. It's the Virgin Mary crying with a cross with three bullet holes in it. And I was in Scarborough for my 17th birthday, and I just wanted a tattoo. Yeah. And that's what that's what ended up going down, and fuck it, I still love it, to be honest. That's awesome. Uh, dream tattoo. And for that, we'll go, like, what, what would be, like, your, like, best piece you could get and buy, like, whichever artist? Best piece would probably have to be my full back, my family tree. Probably done by none other than either Ami James or Chewy Gonzalez. Chewy. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing black and gray artist. Uh, my dream tattoo would be if I like made like a whole stomach piece, like how Freddy's like body looked with all the faces and everything. And I think I'd, like, I don't know, I don't know a lot of artists by name like he does, so I'd have to look at it. Or even actually going to Japan or New Zealand to get like the tr like a Samoa or Samoan tattoo or the traditional like Japanese where they like, tick, 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 tick. that'd be cool. <laughs> uh, Dab Bros 93 how once you get one, you're obsessed about getting more. Yeah. Uh, I, w I, was a, yeah. I was a young, young kid. 20 minutes after I got my first one, I looked at my dad on the drive, drive home, and I was like, Dad, can we go back and get another one? <laughs> and I was hooked. Uh, I was hooked. <laughs> yeah, pretty much the same thing. Like, I finished getting mine done. We were all chilling an hour after. I asked my homie. I was like, yo, can we do another one? Like, I, I just, I want another one. I think it's one of those things because it's, for, for certain people, they see the, like, tattoos and, like, the people who have tattoos and shit, and, like, you kind of, like, connect with them oh yeah so as sure. soon as you get your one you're kind of like on your way to like fitting in with that type thing you know exactly what I'm saying? for and sure it's one of those things like fucking if you're like a nowadays it's like a tattoo collector like yeah, pretty fucking much. get mad pretty much. artwork from everyone you're a canvas yeah <laughs> that's how i look at it yeah. <laughs> low underscore and underscore slow worst tattoo and not covering up a piece of shit so what's the worst tattoo you have? My worst tattoo would have to be one of my first ones I did on myself, my kneecap, the Assassin's Creed not, symbol. Not your S slash no, horn? No, I actually no? no, not not that drunken mistake. I actually I actually dislike my Assassin's Creed more than that actually. True. <laughs> uh well this I guess this kinda goes in to mine, whatever. Cause I like I had skulls over around this arm that uh, over time I just I don't know, it didn't suit me, and I just didn't like them, so actually my little brother did the cover-up for me. It, you guys have seen it on Instagram, but I'll come up close. All those, like, towers and everything. But yeah, so I don't know. It's one of those things. It's not even covering up, like, a piece of shit one, but it's ones that maybe you just, over time, you outgrow, and you, they, you, you don't have the same connection to it anymore. Obviously, if you have a really, like, poorly done one, then... You're kind of like, well, yeah, I want to cover this up with something better. Yeah, for sure. And don't feel bad about it. Like, fuck it. You want to have something on your body that you want to see. You know what I mean? Yeah, you want to show it to people. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> show it off. Exactly. 420 <laughs> Warriors. Tattoos done from home. Well, uh, straight off the bat, 
Uh, we're in my home studio right now. Uh, I own my own company, 13 Tattoo Nation 13, also Tattoo underscore Nation 13 on Instagram, Facebook as well. Um, I love tattoos from home as long as they're a nice clean artist. It, obviously yeah. there's some some hints that the guy doesn't know what he's doing. Uh, or doesn't a, have like a hygienic. Or doesn't know yeah. hygienic or uh, sanitary purposes. Yeah. That's that's for sure. Yeah, because like with like I can speak for him like for sure like he is opens everything right in front of you. All this shit's always like clean and organized and everything. Oh, yeah. And um, everything's wrapped. <laughs> yeah, and then like fucking I don't know. It's one of those things like. As long as the artist is good and they care about like good artwork and everything, then and they have a hygienic like fucking environment for sure, then I don't see the problem with it. Like you were saying, you've seen like artists who like on YouTube or whatever do them, and it looks like a home studio. Oh like, yeah, I've seen where like I watched tattoo <coughs> fails where the one guy was just putting his skin on the open skin, uh, stretching in places he shouldn't have stretched. Uh, on females that were just inappropriate. Yeah. I, I, I had me laughing. Yeah, <laughs> but no, but then you have like the other side of them where it's like artists who have built themselves up and instead of going to the shops, they do it independently oh, on exactly. their own from their home. Exactly, life. that's just like me. I've worked up from a couple shops and didn't like working for people. Yeah. So I was like, all right, time to open my own shop. Yeah. And why pay well. rent when you can do it in your house if you if you know how to do it properly, right? Well, yeah, for sure. Uh, Momo a go go five tattoos when it comes to discrimination, like when it comes to getting jobs. I don't know. It's kind of stupid because obviously, like with fucking me having face tattoos, <coughs> people instantly have a perception or an opinion of who I am or what I might be about, and none of them are like gang tattoos or anything whatsoever. And like Cody has like full sleeves all up his arm and hand and shit, so it's kind of you know. It's kind of one of those things where it's if it's an old-fashioned way of thinking, I think people like tend to fuck let that fuck with them instead of like seeing yeah. past who the person is. You know what I mean? I mean? Yeah, for sure. I think if people are more not like old-fashioned way of thinking, then they're more accepting about it all. Yeah, for sure. Thank God our society today is a lot more opening to tattoos and understanding that hey, just because you have a certain tattoo or a certain style or the way it looks doesn't mean you're a gang member or you've been to prison it could be yeah. a way you're representing a story or some of the past or yeah or, or just representing something that you a style that you like in general just because you like color or you like the the effect of black and gray yeah you know it, it's not it's not like you have like hitler fucking black fucking jesus exactly you know that would be a little bit much uh, i yeah. don't think there'd be <laughs> a lot of artists that'd be willing to do it except for I don't know. Weird, yeah. I don't know. I've probably met some weird artists too, but yeah, it'd be hard to say. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> never know anymore, I guess. Yeah. For but sure. no, either way, I think it's stupid if people like are try and discriminate about it, especially if they don't try and like even try and see what the tattoos represent or even stand in, or who you are as a person, a hundred percent. Yeah. People just need to hear what other people have to say about the tattoos. Yeah. And when it comes to getting jobs, I don't know. Uh, maybe ones on hands might stop you and stuff like that so there's always ways getting around that stopping it at a wrist sleeve um yeah me i didn't really mind um i'm a tattoo artist so i started going on my hands next gonna be the neck yeah like <laughs> i was younger and i got my one down here and i have it so if i have a collar up i can hide it yeah and exactly. i said fuck it for the battle axe we yeah. just went full side <laughs> <laughs> hey, go bigger go home right straight up <laughs> But this was episode 19, I'm pretty sure. Fucking special guest, my little brother, Cody. Got something to say for him quick? Take it easy, guys. Go check out my work. Bet you you like it. Have I'm, a good one. I'm going to put a post and a link and everything to his Instagram page. And you can check mine too, because for all the art that he does, I always post it up. And yeah, submit your topics on Twitter, Instagram, at JuvyTheKid, J-U-V-Y-T-H-A-K-I-D. All the quiet kids, freaks, and weirdos, keep being fucking weird. Take it easy. Mm.